Well, last year's record-breaking hurricanes pummeled the eastern seaboard, including us, the Gulf Coast, Puerto Rico, and the Caribbean. So what is making these storms go from bad to worse? Meteorologist Chris Martinez takes a closer look at how changes in weather patterns are possibly making storms stronger and far more destructive. For 36 hours, Hurricane Irma was a rare Cat 5 hurricane with winds of 185 miles per hour. Maria was one of the most powerful storms in history, with the lowest pressure ever recorded in the Eastern Caribbean. And Harvey generated the worst flooding in Texas history, over five feet of rain. So was last year's hyperactive hurricane season tied to warmer ocean temperatures? The science suggests that we, yes, we do expect to see more intense hurricanes. Not necessarily more hurricanes total. According to NOAA, global temperatures have risen nearly two degrees Fahrenheit since 1880. Ocean water temperatures are on the rise. The warmer the water, the more moisture we add into the atmosphere in the form of clouds, which means more fuel for superstorms. Which means storms can intensify quickly and remain intense for longer periods of time. There were 39 instances where tropical cyclones went through rapid intensification in 2017. Growing from a weak tropical storm to a hurricane in just a few hours. They do form, they're more likely to be very powerful. And last year was certainly an illustration. Maria is a textbook example, gaining strength from a Category 1 to a Category 5 in 24 hours. The warmer temperatures are also contributing to a rise in sea levels, increasing the tidal flooding threat. The main sign that you can see in South Florida is again the rising sea levels and the increased amount of tidal flooding. Take for example, this before and after photo from Climate Central. As you can see, in 2100, much of Palm Beach and downtown West Palm Beach could be underwater. Just to be clear, this doesn't necessarily mean there'll be more hurricanes. It just means that the hurricanes we will see in the future could be more powerful. In the studio, meteorologist Chris Martinez, back to you.